Good evening. I'm Rocky Kana. I'm Angie Sharma, and this is Channel One News, Plotagon City. And now, here's our top story. Well, it happened today, Phantom vs. LMNB. A total conflict broke out between people who want to keep the peace and people who wanted to destroy each other. And this just in, 90% of people polled say that those who favor peace are winning the war. This poll has a margin of error of 90%. With the world's weather acting as it has been in the last year, record flooding has been reported on the tiny island nation of Sunesia. Tina is standing by with a live report. Angie, I'm speaking to you from Sunesia City, the capital of Sunesia, where the worst flooding in centuries has inundated this island nation. From the looks of it, Tina, you could be standing in water. I don't see any land around where you are right now. Well, believe it or not, Angie, I'm standing on dry ground. The only piece of ground not affected as yet by the Sunesian flooding. As I look all around, there's water. Water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. There's the clock tower, the tallest building in Sunesia. Here is the sports arena where all events have been cancelled, and over there is the city hall. Officials have called this the worst flooding in Sunesian history. Tina Malhatra, Channel 1 News, Sunesia City. From the looks of it, I could say that Tina can literally swim back to Plotagon City. She could, but at least she has one of our Channel 1 News helicopters. There have been reports of sharks in the area. Anyway, the weather also had its effect on farmlands across the country, and with the farm report is our very own Eamon Mara. This is Eamon Mara with the Channel 1 News Farm Report. Drought has affected crop yields in record numbers, but much needed rain promises a better yield at harvest time. And now, the latest farming commerce numbers. Hogs are up 22% while cattle are holding steady. Dairy products have seen a 3.5% increase in sales. The drought has sent corn down 14%, but thanks to much needed rain, swabines are up a whopping 51%. And the chairman of farming subsidies said today that, Excuse me Eamon, but you're having a little trouble with your report. Wait, really Rocky? What's wrong with my report? Eamon, you just mispronounced the word soybeans. I did not mispronounce the word swabines. You did so, Eamon. You said swabines. I said swabines. That's right, Eamon. It's pronounced soybeans, not swabines. Your mispronunciations only show how irresponsible you are as a journalist. Well, thanks a lot, Angie. It's just the kind of petty criticisms I've been getting all my life from bitches like you and butt wagons like Rocky. Hey, Samir, could you show this cesspool mouth an excuse for a farm reporter to the door? It will be a pleasure. Rocky. Come on, Eamon, out you go. Hey, what are you gonna do to me? Channel 1 News will introduce a new farm reporter in the near future. There's more to come, but first a quick update on the war. A truce has been agreed to and the fighting is over, at least until now. More on this story as conditions warrant. And Channel 1 News wishes to deny reports that ousted farm reporter Eamon Mera is suing us for wrongful termination. His ouster is justified due to offensive language and his journalism license has been revoked. Thank you for watching Channel 1 News. Comics Minis is next. Good night and good luck.